Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Angelo from the T-Squad family and today's video is where it blah blah blah. Uh, today's video is bringing you the... But a few videos back, we had a leak. A leak in the roof that came through and actually filled almost every puck in here. So these are what I am referring to. That one right there, that one right here, that one, and that one right there. So basically we have seven lights in this living room of the RV. Pay no attention to that, I just took that out. I was actually cleaning it and getting it ready for our travels. So a few months back, we found a leak in the roof. We addressed it, we fixed it. Check out that video right here. It's a pretty cool video. We actually completely resealed the roof and it will never leak again. Today's video brings you the installation of the lights. I purchased these lights on Amazon. This is probably the most simple thing you can do. And I just wanna walk you through one or two of them. And this way you can get an idea how easy it is to replace these lights. So when you're replacing them, please be careful. <laughs> Disclosure, your fingertips, they have some springs up there that when you remove the lights, it'll snap on your fingertips. But hey, I hope you feel comfortable doing this because it cannot be the most easiest thing you could do in your RV. Now, why do you replace the light? So if you look at this light that I have in my hand, it actually has water stains. I don't know if you could see that, if it's gonna be too blurry, or it actually has water stains. And that being said, that means the water came through here from my roof that I had to leak from. But not only do you wanna change your lights because of that. Maybe you wanna just get a brighter light. A lot of people like the daylight lights, a lot of people like the natural lights, and a lot of people like the sunlight, the uh, soft white. So the product I chose is the RV LED light. Get through here a little bit. It's the RV, it's for camper homes, motor homes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, everything you can imagine. When I say everything you can imagine, I actually have a few of these lights in a trailer that I've owned. Uh, not necessarily the exact same ones, but similar that go inside the ceiling. So you open it up, I took two out already. Now there's two kinds of lights, okay? One of them do not have the spring loaded, like that. Okay, this one does. This is the one you want because when you remove that light right there, you're pulling it down, uh, there's some springs that, that, that you'll see. And pretty much this is it right here. And you can see the spring that's attached to it. That right there will get like, Go inside and watch out for that spring right there I was telling you about. So this is basically it. I'll put this link in the description below. Click on it. We are an Amazon affiliate. So anything you purchase does help this channel and we do appreciate it. Speaking of Amazon affiliate, every video that we carry in our channel has Amazon links. All those links are everything we've used for our RV. Every single of those links is something that we've purchased and we stand by, not that we can give you a warranty or anything, but we could tell you that it worked for us. We are replacing this light right above me. I don't know if you could see it right there. And if you look closely, I don't know if it's gonna let you, but you see some shadows right there. That is actually dust and water and debris that just came through there. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this is a good one right here. Let's wait till it focuses. Okay, do you see that little brown shadow on the right side? That is actually a little bit of water that penetrated through from condensation and stuff like that. And then let's go to this other one here. Wait till it focuses and there's a little bit of dust. The reason to replace these, yeah, these are three years old, three, three and a half years old, but you know what? They were bright white at, at first and they just started dying down a little bit and starting to turn like yellowish. So 
Today we're gonna replace them all. Be sure to make sure all the power is off in your RV. But yeah, you can see the water stains right there. And then it kinda dripped a little bit in here and around here, but I'm cleaning all that up. There's no water damage. All this paneling is pretty good. I turned the lights off. I've turned the switch, the breakers off. I made sure no power was going into this RV. And uh, this way, in case you do get kind of shocked from a 12 volt, you'll never wanna get shocked again. All right, we'll do the first one here. Try to take a screwdriver. Just put it behind there. Try to take a screwdriver. Just put it behind there a little bit. Just enough where you can reach your fingertips. Okay, and you see those two springs there? That's what's gonna snap you if you don't be careful. So, my finger's right here. There is the spring. I'm just going to fold it in, and do you see how that just took my finger? Look at that, and that's it, just like that. Now, pull all the wires down. Obviously, red is hot. You'll notice that because the black is connected to the red. You'll notice that because the black wire is always connected to a red or a black wire. In this case, they have two red wires and two white wires. The white wire is the neutral and the red is the hot. So let's move on to the next one. Let me see if I could snap my fingers again. I'm gonna see if I can do this without the screwdriver, and yes I can. And there it is right there. I'm gonna reach in, hold that spring right there, yes. Yes, and then just take this and just pull it out a little, and there you go. And that's it right there. Black, red, good. Go to the next one. Reach in there, pull that one out, and there's that one. Well, you will notice how much wire they give you. I don't know why. You know, I actually was thinking about putting another light in between here and in between there, but these lights are pretty bright. I think I'm just gonna leave it just like that. All right, let's work on the next light here. We are 0 for 3 getting snapped. All right, there's the spring right there. Missed. Good. There's that right there. Two more. There's that spring. Oh yes, I did get it. All right, we'll pull that down like that. Just like that. And this one right here, I already did. And you'll notice there's a ring around there. That's because the water came through. Look at that, all right there. I gotta tell you, one day I was just walking on the roof. I was getting it ready for our trip because I always do that. I walk the roof. When I took a step and I was like, are you kidding me? Another leak. But check that video out. Like I said, you'll you'll really enjoy how they really, the process of sealing the roof. Um, so check it out if you got some time, but let's get back to these lights. We have all the pucks hanging. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six right there that I replaced. So. What we're gonna do, I'm not gonna take this apart, right here, these crimped uh, wire ties. I'm gonna leave these crimped wire ties on, but I am gonna cut it right here and right here. And these push-in wire connectors, you can actually use a solid wire or a thin wire, which one we're using right now for the 12 volt uh, lights. I always wanna say, if you feel uncomfortable doing something like this, you know what, stop, hire somebody. I mean, I can't tell you though, I'm very confident that you can do this because it's so simple. So basically you have two wires here. You have a black and a white. I'm gonna go ahead and snip the black and I'm gonna go ahead and snip the white. And there it is right here, just like that. Don't get your fingers, Clint. I'm gonna strip my wires here accordingly and then I don't wanna make them too short or too long, or just want enough to make a little crimp. Take this, attach one on each. Now I like turning these to make sure. Take it and just stick it right in there, all the way as far as you can. And you see how locked that is? I can't pull that out. That's it. So push that in. 
take the other one, I'm going to turn this a little, wire twist it, and I'm going to take this and stick it right in the other one, and now you have two. Now it's so easy to attach the new puck onto this. So here we go, it, this is it right here. This is the same exact LED that we have installed already in the RV. You don't wanna go with anything uh, heavier than this because your DC or your 12 volt, I'm sorry, your 12 volt will not be able to power this. So that's why it's very important to use the same exact light that was in your RV. I'm gonna go ahead and t wire twist it. When I mean wire twist, it comes like that already. I don't know if you could see that. It comes already. I like to take it and just twist it a little. So now we're gonna take the white, I'm sorry, the black. We're gonna stick it in that right there. Nothing's coming out. I'm gonna take the other one. Stick it in this push. There we go. So you do not have to do this process, okay? So I do it because the RV is driving, it's rattling, it's shaking. So what I like to do is just take a little bit of electrical tape, black, red, blue, doesn't matter. And I just like to just go ahead and put it on top of the wire tie or the push in wire tie and just put a piece of tape over it. So this way in case it does rattle loose, It won't rattle loose. I'll just take it like that. Just put a little tape and just tape it just like that. I don't know if you can see that, just like that. Take another piece, go on the other side, make sure they're all pushed in. Then I'll bring that camera here to show you a little bit more of what I just did. I just put a piece of tape on it on both ends, and you can see one on that side, one on this side, red goes to red, I'm sorry, black goes to black, and then the red, and then the white goes to neutral, and there it is. So it's all taped in. Now let's put it right back in that hole right there. So we'll just shove the wires back in there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with placing these wires back in there. To, so to install this puck, See that little clamp right there? Go in, twist this one up. I can do it! Just like that, see that? Bend it all the way in, just enough. Watch your fingers. There it is. So basically we did one, two lights. Actually, I did that one right before I started videoing. So I did three lights in like five minutes. So make sure you are getting the 12 volt DC supply. Okay, this is what's made for your ceiling lights right here. Well, there you have it, everyone. It was so simple. I think it took me five minutes to talk. It took me longer to talk about it than to just do it. But that's it. Look how nice and bright that is. I mean, it does change a little bit of the RV. Um, like I said, this is a little brighter than the soft white, but we chose to do that. I'll leave everything in the description with a link. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment in the section below. And once again, if you have not subscribed, do so by hitting that subscribe button. Go a step further and hit that bell, everybody. Thank you again. We'll see you guys in the next video. It's beautiful outside.